Hey guys, what's up? This is Diaz here and today I'm going to be talking about the difference between a belt-driven electric skateboard and a hub-driven electric skateboard. The electric skateboards that you see here is the Backfire G2 Black 2020 edition and the Wago 3X. Let's go over the specs real quick. Let's start with the Wago 3X. The Wago 3X has a 600 watts uh, motors, dual motor, dual belt motors, and it has a Hobby Wing ESC, and the remote is a custom uh, remote with single button. It has a LED or LCD telemetry which is pretty neat and the wheels are 90 by 62 78a and yeah it has the uh the belt driven electric skateboard has four wheels versus uh, they have well they you know they both have four wheels but the hub driven has sleeve and the electric the belt driven has four actual wheels so that's the difference between the two and one of the special features of the wowgo 3x is the paris i think it's the v2 not v3 trucks and has a built-in bash guard right there which is pretty neat and also in the back and there's a foamy grip tape which is adds to comfort and it has a flexi deck and the shape of the the board is kind of like loaded vanguard which is i really like and you know it yeah it's pretty neat electric skateboard i don't think the the bearings on the Wago 3X is is uh, Zilla's bearings. Uh, for a minute, it was advertised to be so, but I'm not sure if these are Zilla's bearings at all. So, what else? Trying to remember. Um, top speed is 24 miles per hour. The range is, I forgot, and I also forgot what the the battery for this one and so let's go uh, to the backfire the backfire is a dual hub electric dual hub motor electric skateboard it has each motor is 400 watts and i don't remember the the battery and i'm not sure it's i'm not sure if it's a 10s 3p or 10s 4p i'm not sure but um the wheels are bigger than the wago 3x it's 97 um the wago 3x wheels are, are softer than the 97 i don't know if that's because of the size or i'm not sure if it's the size or the quality but and the trucks are unlike the backfire zealot these are not caliber two trucks these are just uh a backfire propriety trucks and the decks the deck is somewhat flexible but not as flexible as the wild gold 3x the wild gold 3x has some bamboo layers and i think this one are mostly maple and the grip tape is just a regular grip tape is pretty thin and what else um it has a hobby wing esc and same with the remote well the remote and the the esc are usually paired if you have a esc hobby wing the remote is also hobby wing but that's <clears throat> sometimes it's not the case so the backfire g2 blacks remote also has a 
uh, telemetry, LCD telemetry. And these are becoming common now, this uh, hobby wing uh, remote control. So let's take a quick look on the undersides. These are the top views. You know, it has very simple design, even uh, including the Bago and you know, simplistic tones for the design are, you know, sometimes better than crazy ones. Some people would go customize their grip tape and, you know, each to their own. I'm gonna set the phone really quick. Okay, so this is the underside of the Backfire G2 Black. Um, compared to the entry level skateboards that are out there, electric skateboards that are uh, in the budget segment, the Backfire has a bigger battery and the G2 Black has a bigger battery compared to the 4.0 amp hours. I think this is might be 5 point something or 6, I'm not sure. But, um, Range usually is uh, dependent on your weight. And my goal for this summer is to shave up some of those uh, weights so I could get better range. Even though I don't do electric skateboarding as much, like, you know, until the battery is there. Usually I take it for quick spin, quick ride, like 20, 30, 40, you know, an hour is usually the most, and most of the time I don't do uh, too much, uh, very long uh, session. And let's, yeah, so it's pretty neat and simple. Let's take a quick, let's take a look at the underside of the Wago 3X. here really nice Paris trucks and that's the the underside of the Wago 3x this is the battery casing looks really nice and the ESC and the two motors and the motor covers and the belts now I've seen a video, YouTube video about an issue with the the rear wheels that only had one bearing. And I'm not sure if that's a manufacturer manufacturer's error or something, I'm not sure. But uh as soon as I got mine, I took these uh nut out and checked the other side and to make sure that there's two bearing bearings and luckily i had two bearings on this wheel and so is the other one and uh, a, a friend of mine in the eSkate community reached out to me and was asking if i had all the nuts and bolts on this side and this side because it was not even his motors on his electric skateboard was not even. And I didn't really went that far, but just looking at mine, it is even and from what I look, it, it seems like it has everything in it. Um, yeah, I haven't got that far to investigate if the, um, <clears throat> the nuts and bolts but if you can, you know, I look here really quick. First one, two, one, two. Yeah, it looks fine. So I'm not sure if that's a quality assurance um, error or uh, mishap, but I'm lucky to have a perfectly fine working Wago 3X. Um, my only complaint is when I got this board is it was squeaky 
and they said that because of the cheap bushings that the Wauga use, not the actual Paris bushings, it's a, and they said that, you know, I can alleviate that by taking this trucks off and put some sh uh, shave, shave, uh, soap, shave and soap inside here, but I haven't, I haven't set a time to do that, you know, I'm, I'm kind of lazy, so, you know, I, it kind of doesn't really bother me that much anyways, but apparently it's normal, so whenever, when I get the chance to do that, I'll put some shave soaps or some grease that they actually sell. <clears throat> so these, uh, back to comparing this board right here, the hub driven board, uh, the top speed for the G2 Black is 24 miles per hour and the top speed for the belt driven electric skateboard Wago 3X is also 24 miles per hour. Have I gone, done the top speed? No, I have not. I have, I have only gone up to uh, 16, 17, and 18. And the G2 Black only has two uh, speed modes, eco mode and the sport mode. On the eco mode, the top speed is 12 and the sport mode is 24. And when the battery is not fully charged, Sometimes my top speed on the eco mode is only 11 miles per hour, but when it's fully charged, it's 12 miles per hour. And the Walgo 3X, I have played around with it on speed three, not the turbo, but even on the speed three, I don't really full throttle anyways. Um, on the speed one, I have tried full, full throttle on speed two. I don't think I, yeah, I might have because I've reached 18 and on the speed three, not, no, I, I haven't done the, you know, so I haven't done any range tests on this one and on that one, but um, in my neighborhood, there's short streets and there's a lot of speed bombs and there's a lot of uh, <clears throat> rocks and pebbles that I really hate doing fast speed because I don't want to get into an accident and I don't run over kids too. Uh, I don't want to get, I don't want to hit a, a car or somebody opening their door of their car and getting into an accident. Plus, there is a posted speed limit in the neighborhood, which is 15 miles per hour. So one of these days I'll go to a, a bike a track in the park and maybe do a top speed test or a range test. So which one do I like the most? Personally, I like the, the belt driven better because um, it is more comfortable. There is more contact uh, or grip on the road because the front and back are, you know, full skateboard wheels. And this one with the 90, I don't know if it's the size, the 90 by 62, because I think they're both 78A durometer, but <clears throat> For some reason, these are more squishy. You can see, you press that and you can actually see the squishiness of that one. But it's, you have more grip on the road or control of the road. This one, the bigger one, the 97, it's soft, but there's not much. So, but it does its job, you know. But the back is a, the hub, it's just a sleeve, even though it's a uh, thick one, you know, the this one, not the brand, but the belt driven kind of beats the hub board as far as comfort goes. 
And I'm not a, you know, even though it's been months that I have been riding electric skateboard, I'm still considering myself as beginner. You know, I don't carve hard like some of my friends and the e-skate community. And I don't know if it's the single uh, kingpin trucks versus the double kingpin. I don't know if <clears throat> you can carve. I'm going to borrow the term that uh, Ronnie Samantha says, carvelicious, you can't really do much carving or I don't know if it's if you have a double king pin electric skateboard you can carve better or you know I, I guess I just I don't I just not great you know I haven't arrived yet on uh, doing that much carving but between the two I find it easier to carve with the belt driven than the hub driven electric skateboard so that is my uh, comparison um, the backfire brand has a the backfire zealot bamboo and uh, also the zealot s that is a equivalent to the wago 3x actually the zealot and Zealot S has a higher top speed uh, compared to the 3X, which is 28.5 miles per hour. Sometimes, uh, you know, to some people, the speed speed is a big deal. But to me, you know, top speed is not really a big deal for me because I don't really do top speed anyways. Um, I have these boards for cruising, you know, just relaxing and having fun and when the opportunity strikes when the conditions are great you know i i speed up uh, up to the highest speed that i'm comfortable doing you know i don't really go for the top speed and you know end up getting to accident or yeah so that's all i have for you guys uh if you are watching till the end of this video thanks for watching and if you enjoy this video consider liking and subscribing i'll see you guys in the next video thanks for watching peace